There are five big detector projects around the world, and they all work together. The Australian Igor project. The two giant American LIGO observatories in the states of Louisiana and Washington. The Japanese Tama project. Virgo, another giant detector near Pisa, Italy, which is a cooperation among Italy, France, and the Netherlands. And GEO 600, the German-British project near Hanover, Germany. GEO is operated by the Albert Einstein Institute in Germany. GEO is a kind of think tank. From here come key technologies that are transferred to the larger detectors, such as how to create the quietest laser light in the world. This light is called squeezed light. The fundamental development of quantum technology that also promises major improvements in measurements used in geodesy and in the study of the Earth's climate. At many universities around the world, big supercomputers process the data. The biggest and fastest of them is the Atlas cluster at the Albert Einstein Institute. The first gravitational waves will be heard here. All the detectors we've seen are here on the Earth, distributed around the globe. The most likely source of the first detection will be a couple of tumbling and colliding neutron stars. In reality, they all orbit each other much faster than this. We expect to match their sounds up with the spectacular gamma ray bursts they create. Here's what we expect to hear. That was just the part of the signal that's audible to our ears. Our computers will pick out a much lo longer and lower pitched whistle before this plop that comes from the changes in gravity as the two stars orbit each other more and more closely, faster and faster. We'll also be able to listen for the continuous wail of a rapidly spinning neutron star, a gravitational wave pulsar. These are the waves that are emitted when a misshapen neutron star spins. The bumps on it keep changing gravity. The moving bumps create the gravitational waves. Now I want to show you why we need detectors all over the Earth. So, I'll be helped by Grant, Michael, and Chen San. They'll demonstrate to you that only an array of detectors can find out where a gravitational wave is coming from. 